Yo, it's Tuesday morning. Um, I'm trying something a little bit different this week. You know, I'm trying to stay motivated to go to the bins regularly. I need to be, with with the amount of stuff that I need to be listing every week, I need to be regularly sourcing and not waiting until I'm close to being out. So um, I'm actually right in the middle of photographing a little over 100 pieces. But this week I uh, made the commitment, I set the goal um, to our friend Alexis that I was going to go to the bins every day this week um, other than Monday. So I'm doing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and see how that turns out. Um, so getting up 6.30 in the morning, making coffee, taking a shower, feeding the dogs, getting coffee for Victoria, and then I'm here at the bins. She'll probably join me maybe one day, two days this week. Uh, we will see, but I'm going to hit it every day for four days in a row and see how it goes. Here we are. I ended up being in there for 90 minutes, and I actually did pretty well. I spent $47. Got the sweet 70s, 80s ski jacket. Today was the day of sweatshirts. Let's see a little sneak peek, but I'll do a proper haul at the end of the week. It's Wednesday, so it's my second day. Um... I actually already went in because I got here, it's 9.30 right now, I got here a few minutes late, so I had to rush in there, uh, but I just had just a little over an hour, um, I do have to go to the lofts today where I volunteer, so I just, I had a time limit, but I was here for two rotations, but I did find a few good things, so uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I got two more days, so we'll see how the rest of this week goes. Had just a little over an hour in there, but... I think I still did a pretty good job. I spent $28. It was like, I don't know, 15, 16 pounds. Well, here we are. It's day three. Going to the bins every day this week, four days in a row. And oh my goodness. Bump it up, bump it Look who's here. Doop a doop, boppy, boop, boop. So you woke up early today, huh? And I get up every time you get up to go to the bins. It's just, I don't go with you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What made you decide to join today, ma'am? Um, I had a very accomplished day of working yesterday. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, everything's all clean and put away and listed and, and yeah. ready to be listed. So let me go buy some stuff and mess it up. Fueled by caffeine? That too. Yeah, exactly. All right, what are you hoping to find today? What are you looking for? Uh, my linens are getting a little bit light. Yeah. I'm hoping there's some good linens today. There haven't been the last few times I've come, so. All right, let's get in there. Let's do some, let's throw some elbows. Let's uh, shove let's some. Let's some little kids. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, here comes all the kids with their Django jeans. Hold on a second, I'm going to flip this. What's up? Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's a cute look. Mm -hmm. They're getting, look at the youths. Look at those. That's what you guys want to look for. All right, we got Jesse here. Hello. What'd you get? You're in and out. You uh, just got one little stack. Whole lot of nothing. No, I'm just kidding. That's this not is true. cool. This is a full Marlboro set. I'll probably get like 50 bucks for this. Um, it's the windbreaker and the pants. And the pants. Katie threw this back. Yeah, and then I'm now I'm full of regret. Apparently, <laughs> they could have sold it for $40. 40 so, but um, you did give me some cool stuff. So I it's did, it's, I did. it's all good. Harley shirt. I got some jorts. Um, what else? A Raiders tee. Well, now the jorts you actually got from uh, from Vicky. From Vicky. But they're already sold. And he already sold them. They sold three times, three times inside. In, in five minutes. <laughs> I, I, she found them. I paid her 25 and then I just sold them for 40 So five bucks each on each pair. Nice so, work. Not too bad. All right. We'll see you cool. guys later. See ya. It's a little bit windy, but it looks like you found a couple things. I did. Any hard goods at all? No, I got a couple of stuffed animals. And uh, one, I'll show this because I won't show it at all. This one Art Deco, they call this like the penguin. Um, it's like a little coffee carafe in the uh -huh. 50s. It's missing the little top. I think it's like a black Bakelite little round thing. So I'm gonna see if I can find a piece for it online and fix it. If I can fix it, it sells for like, I don't know, 75 bucks to 100 bucks. Well, and we got some art for the house. A couple pieces of art, which you can't beat for $2.99 a piece. Overall, somewhat successful. Yeah, I spent 100 bucks. 100 bucks? What I happened? I don't know. My, sh my shit must be heavy. I don't know. I spent 35 and I think I got some cool pieces. But I gave her some good stuff, and I have some more stuff to trade with her, so 
We're gonna I see. I didn't say I was gonna trade with I'm you. taking that dress back. Okay, good luck listing it. How dare you. So effing rude. Mm -hmm. It's Friday, day four of hitting every week this week except for Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Here I am, ready to go in. And we're going to see how this turns out. I'm hopeful. But since I'm here, I have officially completed my goal for this week. So take that, Alexis. And that's a wrap for the final day. Nothing too crazy. I did get a couple of gems. 18 and a half pounds. Let's head on over to a haul to see what I really got. And this is everything that I ended up with. Probably about four heaping Ikea bags full. A good 70 or so pieces. But I'll just be showing a handful of those in the actual haul video coming up. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> that was uh, one of my prized treasures I got at the bins last week. Okay, it's gonna go missing, just How like when you have a when you're a parent and you have a kid that has annoying toys, the batteries <laughs> break. I'm pretty sure it's worth absolutely nothing, but to me, it's priceless. It is worth absolutely nothing. It's a crappy accordion toy. I need to learn how to play it just so that I can more skillfully annoy you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, guys. So, uh, did my four days at the bins. You came to one of them. I did. And uh, we decided we're just going to do one video. It's probably going to be a little bit longer. I think we've got like 12 or 13 pieces each to share. I've got some crazy stuff. We found, man, going every day, I feel like, um, you know, Alexis was really right. When you go every day, you find stuff, you tend to find even better and better stuff. And it's true because you're missing well, you opportunities. you can be a little select, more selective when you're going every day. Yeah, I mean. just trying to get quantity. True. I mean, I was still trying to grab everything that I could that even would sell for 20, 25 bucks. But, um but I did find almost every single day I found something substantial that was worth quite a bit of money. I kind of joked that the day that you came was my worst day. And to be honest, it, it was probably the more, like I didn't have any one piece that was crazy. However, as we will show you in a little bit, I did find a couple of pieces of art that I thought Vicky would like. And uh, we'll talk about that more. And that probably was the big, the big find of that day. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go, go ahead and show stuff. I had two, two crazy surprise things I picked up because I thought they were funny or whatever. And then it turned out they were worth a ton of money. So stay tuned because those are going to be at the end. Because seriously, I'm not, oh, nice, I'm not hyping. Nice teaser. I'm not hyping. Am I hyping? Not really. No. Not really. She's not really hyped. No, I found some crazy stuff. So. Do, do you want to keep going? Yeah, I want to keep going. What else? What do you have to say? I, nothing, clearly. So. <laughs> you want me to play you some more music? No. Okay. Anyway, so do you want to get started? Uh, sure. I don't have anything as super exciting as Katie this week, I've got to say. But uh, all of this stuff was found at the bins. It was either at the bins when we were with Alexis a couple weeks ago or uh, this past week. I did get some just basic mediocre bread and butter pieces at the bins this week, but I've got some, some good ones right now. All right. Um, I guess I'm just going to start with, this is more about the fashion than the brand. I think this might even be like Faded Glory. Yeah. This is a Faded Glory, which we know is a Walmart brand. However, do not skip on vintage Faded Glory stuff because this is very much a 90s or Y2K type of skirt. This is a skirt. It's a, like an A-line skirt in like army green, khaki green. And it's a larger size. I want to say this is like an extra large or something like that. Yeah, it's a size 14, so like an extra large. This is the type of style that is back right now. This type of army green layering stuff from 90s and early 2000s. I bet even though this was not even, it was probably $15 brand new then, I can probably still get about 40 bucks for it. Does this one still have a tag on it or is it the next thing you're showing? No tag. Oh, okay. I thought it still had a Goodwill tag on it. Anyway, very cool. My first thing I have, nothing that's going to sell for a crazy amount, but my buddy Lace threw this to me. He's like, hey, do you sell these? And it is a vintage, it's a dated, um, it might be 80s. I think it says 87, it's kind of faded out right there. 
but uh, the tag's cut out, but it is single stitch. It's just a Halloween t-shirt, but single stitch. And I am 99.9 .9 to 100% positive that this glows in the dark. And it says no tricks, all treats. And it's super cute. So, you know. It's tiny. It's, it is tiny, but I think I can get like 25, 30 bucks for it. Um, especially once we get start getting closer to Halloween again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So this is along the same vein. This one actually did have tags on it, but it never make it made it to the floor because the tag on it is 314. Um, and I picked it up last week. There's no way this went on a, on a sales floor anywhere. And they also had it marked as men's. It's not men's. Uh, so this is the same thing. These are like early Y2K, late 90s. These are guest jeans. They are corduroy and they're cropped. They're women's, not men's. Uh, low waisted, but then they've got these cool little pockets on the back. So again, that kind of like industrial, uh, army green, olive green is, it's kind of never really gone anywhere. Certain mm -hmm. people have always worn that color. In fact, I love that color, but, uh, it's definitely having a comeback. So those, again, I paid maybe a dollar at the bins and I'll list those probably like 50 or 60 bucks actually, because they are guests. Um, and they've got stretch. They do have stretch to them. <laughs> yeah. We all cool. love stretch. All right. Next up, uh, this is actually one that Jesse threw my way. It's not anything that's like crazy valuable, but uh, see the brand is Salvaje Oeste. I don't know. Salvage? It's not salvage. S-A-L-V-I -S mean, maybe it's supposed to be pronounced salvage, but it's spelled funny, but I think it's like kind of a, like maybe a Mexican brand or something like that because it's this really cool Western style, pearl snap, all embroidered. Like, uh, they how... need, with the super long pointy toe boots. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so uh, this, I mean, I can maybe, I could probably get like 40 bucks for it. But yeah, just, I don't you know. think the brand is going to sell it, but the style is awesome. Yeah, and it's just got this really cool gold embroidery. And it's like, it, it's got a lot of really cool details and stuff. But there's definitely comps for this. Um, I should be able to get $40, but it's, a, it's just a cool shirt. I love it. Fantastic. Yeah. Pay the buck. All right. Katie found this one for me. Uh, and she teased me like as if she was going to keep it. That I mean, there's, but, well, don't get me wrong. Katie has been grabbing more of the women's clothing here and there, jackets and things like that. But this is not something she's ever going Well, she list. has found something that she told me I was going to be jealous of. And so I was like, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't give you this unless you want to trade. Go ahead. <laughs> so it's just vintage 1970s. You've got a little, uh, you know, these little flutter sleeves, a zipper in the back. It is a maxi dress. It's polyester. It's a super long A-line maxi dress. So this will go like right to the ankles. This was probably worn to a dance or this could have been a bridesmaid's dress at the time. Very popular uh, 70s type of style. Now, I used to get a lot more money for those type of dresses. I don't think I'll get anywhere near what I used to get for it, but I'd be happy to get 50 or 60 right now. Nice. And how much did you pay for it? Like what, $3 maybe? Like 2 to $3. $3. Yeah, it was a bins. All right, next up, uh, I'm sure for all of you out there who are parents and have you know young kids, uh, thrifting and going to the bins is a great way to get clothes for them and not have to spend a ton of money. Um, and the kids think it's cool now, which is great. Like when I was a kid, you would never brag about getting something at a thrift store. Exactly. Well, when I, I was a kid, we, I loved you going were to thrift stores. I, think kid, it's, honey. You I don't think kid. so. I don't think so. My friends like going to thrift stores too, but... Anyway, um, so this is not vintage, it's just on the gray Gildan tag, and this is absolutely not real Nike, but my nephew, um, who's four, just turned 14, he loves Nike, um, I gave him another like, uh, boot, like fake Nike hoodie that he loves, um, and so it's something that I'm not going to want to put up for sale, um, you know, not that Nike, I don't think they ever did this design, so it's really more of a bootleg than it is um, counterfeit. Uh, but Nike is very, very um, on top of uh, taking yeah, down stuff. Don't list boot like Nike anywhere. So I just wouldn't do it. But it's a really cool design. It's all embroidered. It's the right size. He wants black um, sweatshirts and uh, sweatpants. So uh, I'm definitely going to give this to him and he's going to love it. So. I have a sweatshirt too. This isn't anything super great, but I have to, I have to look this up. I probably 2000s. I haven't really looked into it too far, but this is a sweatshirt for Star Trek, the experience in Las Vegas. It was held at the Hilton, which isn't even a casino anymore. It's the Westgate. Uh, but it's just got, it's just, a, I don't know, quarter zip fleece hoodie with a little Star Trek photo thing on it. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It looks it's like the this, Golden Gate Bridge. I was just going to say, it looks like the San Francisco Golden Great Gate Bridge. I don't understand that relevance, but whatever. I don't well, know what it has to do with Star Trek. 
Clearly, you've never seen Star Trek for Voyage Home, uh, which is set in San Francisco. I know, the one with the whales. And also, I believe Starfleet Academy, I believe Starfleet on Earth is based in San Francisco. I have So, uh, I'm sorry, man, but I just don't think you understand the references. <laughs> I really don't, and I don't care. I just knew that I needed to pick it up. Now, what will it sell for? I don't know. I have to run some comps. It could be something that is like a, a geek favorite that sells for like 75 bucks. It could be that there's a million of them and it's worth 40 bucks. Yeah. It was worth picking up either way. Unfortunately, Star Trek, I will say in general, does not sell for a lot, and I don't understand it. I've sold some stuff for good prices, but uh, it doesn't get the love that it deserves, in my opinion. All right, next I up. I think it gets exactly the love it deserves. Do you hand me that um, accordion over there? No. <laughs> all right. Next up, I have this really cool Jimmy Buffett, Marguerite Deville, all over print Hawaiian camp shirt, Aloha shirt. And I didn't look this up, but um, Vicky tells me that the, these are ones that go for a decent amount. But I'm just, I mean, what, 40, 50 bucks maybe? Yeah, like 40, 50 bucks. It's just an older Margarita Bell tag. The older stuff that was Jimmy Buffett uh, brand before it, I think it got absorbed by Kmart. I could be wrong, but I think it got absorbed by Kmart. Uh, it used to be worth a little bit more money, and now, and of course, now that he's passed away, um, a lot of things are closing. <clears throat> a lot of the Margaritaville, like the Margaritaville little mini casino slash restaurant mm -hmm. that was here in Vegas inside the Flamingo, I believe, or right adjacent to it, is uh, closing. So, all right, interesting. You know, so we'll see. I'll have to do some more research when I'm actually listing it, but I was excited to find it. So this is one of the things that I thought Katie would be a little bit jealous of. I mean, not super. It's not like it's worth a ton of money. However, we all know Katie likes the tech geek and the tech nerd stuff. So this was just a basic fleece lined uh, jacket. It's black. It's probably from the '90s. In fact, it is from the '90s. And then it has this uh, Intel inside IBM uh, logo that was really big when there was the Mac versus PC era when they were having all those commercials back and forth. Um, I don't know what I'm going to list it for. Probably like 75 bucks or so. All right. Okay. Um, but because, Katie definitely would have grabbed it had she seen that. Oh, I would have grabbed it for sure. So you guys know I always grab, uh, I always buy like um, stuff that's super distressed or destroyed. And sometimes Vicky's like, why are you even buying that? That's not going to sell. Um, but hey, I didn't make up the whole, uh, the whole deal because this is, now this is a 90s sweatshirt and you'll see it's a racing sweatshirt. It's cut off into a crop top. I've talked about the crop tops. Um, the neck is cut, the cuffs are cut, it's got all these like little holes and distressing, um, but then you look at the tag, it's got a Hanes tag made in Mexico, but then it also has over the top of it this tag called the Vintage Twin, um, and so clearly this is, they've got their um, Instagram on here, uh, so clearly this is a store that does this, takes vintage, and does a bunch of like distressing, added distressing, to hopefully make it more marketable. Um, but for a buck, I'm definitely going to pick they this took up. It, they distressed all the stains. Well, and what's really cool about this one is it's actually a female um, racer. It's Alyssa. I don't know what, what her last name is. Um, and then it says on the back, Chick, Chick, Chico Racing. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, uh, but I think it's kind of a cool shirt that some girl's going to want to wear um, who's kind of wearing vintage and wants it to be that whole distressed look. I mean, I should be able to sell it for at least 30 hmm. So... It's a good deal. This was probably one of my favorite finds of the day. Uh, speaking of Nike, so this is Nike. Whenever you see this tag, you don't always see the swoosh, but ACG stands for All Climate Gear, and it is a, uh, a higher-end outdoors mm -hmm. type of like hiking and skiing and all that kind of stuff um, from Nike. So this is a goose down puffer vest. It's nice. in green. It's a good size. It had a big stain on the front that I was able to get out, which I'm happy about. It was a grease stain, a little bit of Dawn dish detergent scrubbed in, came out. Um, so it's a size large. I don't know how old this particular one is. I haven't really looked for the adjacent, uh, additional tags. However, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's probably Y2K. It's probably Y2K, and that's probably what I'll list it as. There are certain colorways that sell for like 150, 175 bucks. This one I'll probably get about a hundred for. Uh, it's just a basic green, um, but it's a good size. So I'll probably price it a little bit higher, knowing that we're heading out of the season when anyone would really want it and uh, allow for sales. And if it doesn't sell right now, it'll sell come fall, uh, and I'll be happy for, you know, a hundred bucks on it or so. Yeah. 
All right, I got a lot of sweatshirts and hoodies. It was I'm like, geez, I'm gonna run out of space of get, getting so many sweatshirts and hoodies this week. Um, of course, they cost a little more to buy, but still, dollar eighty nine a pound. Uh, but I picked up this hoodie, and it says on it, "There's really a wolf." Okay, and then the back's got this big thing. There's really a wolf, and then the sleeves have like this little funny little wolf thing. It's got some schmutz on it that I'm just definitely gonna wash out. Um, but you know, I've, I've begun to learn, you know, that, oh, there's some different streetwear brands that I don't know. And I showed it to Jesse and he's like, I don't know what that is. And so then I looked it up and I was able to find it's a rapper. I think if I, I mean, I looked this up like days ago, but I think it was Russ is the name of the rapper. So it is something, um, somewhat significant. Uh, I don't think it sells for a lot. I did, I did a very quick search while it was at the bins, but I should be able to get at least like 50 bucks for it. Probably 40, 50 bucks. But look at that little guy. He's like, ah. Yeah, Russ. And it's a nice, oh, there it is. Yeah, Russ. There you go. Um, but yeah, so, and again, I keep talking about how disgusting uh, hoodies and sweatshirts feel nowadays. So when you can find the good ones, I want to grab them. That's true. All right, this was the jacket that I thought Katie was really going to like, and I think she does. Uh, it's just a basic early 80s satin bomber jacket. You can tell by the tag inside. You can also tell by the yellowing. This guy was a smoker. Mm. I have washed this. I think it still sells, smells like old smoke. Did but, you wash it with vinegar? No, I, might, I may try it again. Okay. Uh, and the back, it, his name was Doug. Very small embroidered name, Doug, right here on the left lapel area. But the back is just like a type of aviation. Anything aviation really sells well. Uh, I have not been able to find what this symbol stands for. It could just stand for general aviation or ground aviation or something like that. Mm -hmm. It might just be some type of local... Uh, to wherever this came from originally. It could be local to here. The logo is not something I've been able to find. Uh, Google machine is no help. So I'm just going to list it as just GA, general aviation. Like It's probably just a small airport. Yeah. Um, and maybe that was, he was a pilot that smoked like a chimney. I don't know, but it was a pretty cool, maybe so. pretty maybe cool so. jacket. Again, bin's fine. I'll probably list it. I'll probably list it for like 125, but I would take anything over like 70. All right. All right, next up, uh, more sweatshirts. This is on the Toltex tag, and uh, it is from the 90s, because it says right here, this is what I love it, when it's some sort of event, because it's actually dated. Newport Ensenada, uh, NOSA 91, so some yacht race of some sort. That went from Newport, Rhode Island to Ensenada, I guess. Mexico? I don't know. Or Newport, Newport Newport I don't know. I, I haven't I haven't looked it up yet, but I usually do well with sailing stuff. But the best part of this is the back because this is just a majestic graphic. It looks super cool. I love the colors. It's just a really cool vintage sweatshirt. So it's very cool. I would hope to get like 40, 50 bucks for this. Faux show. Faux show. All right. Well, this one is not super exciting but this is one that katie did find for me as well i've talked about this before i always pick up embroidered heavy denim uh, shirts whether they're for men or women uh, this particular one is women's but it is all about that teacher core right so this one is it's 90s it has this little abc like kindergarten teachers right elementary school teachers it's got the little school bell and then on the cuffs it has like a little pen and pencil and scissors. It's cute. It's, it's, it's very cute. cute. Um, it probably won't sell for a ton, but this is a solid bread and butter, 30, 40 bucks. And they tend to sell on Etsy. And that's probably like almost a pound. So you paid $2 for it. Big Not freaking even. deal. Big freaking deal. All right. Another sweatshirt. This is like a really cute little crop top one. It is dirty. All this stuff hasn't been washed. Today's the day I'm going to be processing all of it. Um, and I don't know anything about this tag or this brand. But it says Italian Club on the tag, Ooh. and then it's got a paper tag underneath it. So it is made in the U.S. Um, this is probably late 80s, early 90s, unless it's got a date. I don't think it does. And it just says Italian Club on it. And it's just kind Love of it. crop. So it's really cute. Um, and if I can get the stains out and wash it out, I'm at 30, 40 bucks again. You know, as we've been saying um, recently, you know, I've definitely been changing my prices and lowering my prices, trying to get faster sell through. And with my cost of goods being so low, it's like, why not? Yep. This came from my big purchase from Robin and Joe in Florida. 
and I'm, I'm cycling through and getting all of the hard goods washed and prepped and, and listed that I purchased from them. Not really hard goods. I got some linens, a couple pairs of shoes, that kind of thing, and some purses. And this is one of them I wanted to show because it's really, really cute. So it's this vintage straw purse. Uh, this is probably late 50s, early 60s. It has a bamboo frame. It is real bamboo, and it's made in Japan. Um, and it has cool. some old spotting inside, but it's uh, it's still in really good shape. It's not super dirty. It looks more like just age spots from the, the lining inside. Um, but it's got these little like tissue paper flowers. I think there's probably some damage on here, but it's really not super visible. It still looks very cute. I'll list this for like 50, 60 bucks. Um, yeah, very nice. It's cute. All right, next up, I've got this awesome hoodie. I'm sure some of you guys are going to see this and know exactly what brand it is. Uh, this is the... I knew. Yep, of course. The Zuba's brand, uh, vintage brand. Now, this one's interesting because it doesn't have any... A lot of these have, like, um, NFL teams. It's mostly NFL, I think. That's the Cincinnati but sports, Bengals. It just doesn't have it on Yeah, there. sports teams and stuff like that. But I think this one's cool because it doesn't have that. So hopefully it appeals to more than just somebody... See me with knowing my sportsing? Logo? You're so smart. You're so smart. Uh, but Jesse had actually found this. And I was like, hey, how much do you want for that? Because I love it when he's there because I get to scope out what he finds because he'll always give me a good deal if there's something. So it's like a little added. And I give him stuff. It's like I've got an extra picker there with me. Um, anyway, and he started to say a price and he's like, oh, no, I owe you because I had given him something the last time we were there and he left before he could find something for me. So got this for free. Um, these don't necessarily sell for a crazy amount, but I think I can get about 50 bucks for it. Um, and it's just super cool. Too bad it's not the parachute pants. But you actually sold something in the shop or in the bins. You found a couple pairs of jorts, vintage jorts. Mm -hmm. Or were they even vintage? Yeah, they were South Pole, wide leg, big sized jorts. And I would definitely would have kept them. They were the, All the guys were like, oh, cool, come up. Like I got some, yeah. I got some cool shit. But... I love Jesse. And Jesse's like, how much? He's like, I don't know. What do you got? Do you know that he sold them to somebody else there? Did he really? They sold like three times in the time that you were there. <laughs> he paid me 25. I don't know what he paid. I don't think he got a 10 more. But... Um, anyway, one of the pairs actually didn't have, the zipper was broken. So those got tossed back because I was not repairing the zipper. He, I gave those to him. I just gave those to him because he'll have the zipper so you got 25 right here. for one pair? I got 25 for two pairs, okay. which I know was no, believe me, I know I could have sold them for 75 a pair, but I love Jesse. Yeah. Well, now I've ruined it. any feelings you have for him. Now, just kidding. now that he flipped them right in front of me in the same <laughs> building. Day. I'm like, how many times were they going to sell without actually having been I didn't bought from the bins? I see that. Um, okay. So I picked this up at the Goodwill when we were with Alexis. This is, I paid $2 and 99 cents for this. Uh, it is handmade by Nana because she's got her little tag Aww, right on Nana. it. Made by Nana. I'm sorry, Nana, that your family hates you and they donated this beautiful thing that you made because people suck. But it's just a really cute baby blanket that has all the precious moments. Um, alphabet. Animals made into the alphabet. It's all hand embroidered. It's really cute. It has the a really trim. nice rainbow satin trim on it. Uh, it's cute. It's vintage. It's probably like 80s or 90s based on it being precious moments. And I'm a sucker for baby blankets, right? Very cute. That was so, actually really cute. It is really cute. Like the N is a little nurse. The D is a dog. The E is an elephant. It's just, it's really cute. Look at how cute. Look it's well. very cute. Look at them up cute. <laughs> anyway, I'll probably list it for like 75 bucks. All right. Vicky definitely loved this. It's a sweater. Real heavy. Heavier than the sweatshirts. Um, the tag is no. No, it's no so 80s. The Jeans Revolt by Claude Adius. And so like um, no, no excuses. There were a couple different brands in that name. In that yeah. So color. if you look up this brand and stuff, there's some stuff that goes for quite a bit. Um, I couldn't find any like there were cardigans like this. There's one cardigan like this with this brand on Facebook Marketplace right now. Interesting. And they have it listed for like two hundred dollars. Yeah. So it's it's an it's an interesting like chunky. It's kind of measure short. Um, the buttons are like a men's, but I don't know if this should, this is a women's or it's, women's. it's just like buttoned the wrong way. It's women's. Uh, but it's super cool. I love all the colors. Look at the sleeves. The... Look at how poofy the sleeves are. That's, yeah. That's women's. Yeah, I agree. So I love the color, the green. It's just really, really cool. I don't know what all this is for. When I, like I said, when I looked at the brand, uh, I definitely saw some things in the hundreds, like jackets and different things like that. So um, I'm just going to have to kind of go with whatever, but maybe I can get a hundred for it. What do you think? Yeah, I think you can. It's very yeah, cool. It's It'll very, sell very cool. Very cool. 
All right, and this is, I've got two more things to show that are, are the paintings actually. Uh, but this I actually got from the bins. Not that it is like the most exciting thing in the world, but it's new, first it's of all. It's very soft. And it is a reversible uh, Disney tree skirt. It's this really soft, squishy Sherpa with a uh, Mickey head. And then the back is reversible into like this buffalo plaid. Nice. Anyway, it's new. Uh, what I what was cool about it is that I can't find it anywhere. You, was it dated? No, it's not dated. It's new, but it's it's not it's not old. It's not vintage or anything like that. No. But uh, I can't find it anywhere. So by scanning or by showing it, the exact one I think I found on a site in Japan. Uh, so I don't know. I, I mean, I can at least get fifty or sixty bucks. You can get fifty or sixty bucks for most tree skirts. I don't know what it is about people not wanting to go out of their house to buy tree skirts, but. During the holidays, people are trying to fit themes for trees very often or color schemes. And rather than shopping all around, they definitely buy them online. I sell the heck out of tree skirts that have no name. So um, I'll get at least 50 bucks for that. Yeah. All right. So uh, when we, I think, um, I don't remember which day it was, but uh, Jesse grabbed this and I was like, what in the what? And now I only saw the front of it. I didn't really look closely at the back until I brought it home and was showing it to Vicky. And I'm like, wait, there's something. What is it on the back? I had to back up to be able to see what it was. And it's a polar bear. Because like, like I said, I didn't really look at the back. Um, and Jesse had gotten this. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. How much do you want for it? And I gave him $15. So for him, it's like he got 15 bucks for spending $0. So, um, but the brand is like, is fab. And it's made in Canada, 100%. Show those little buttons, though, how cute. 100% wool. And the buttons are these really cute little, like little mother, maple leaf. Pearl, inlay, maple leaf. They're super cute. Yeah, so I don't know anything about this. I haven't done any research, but it's really heavy. I paid him $15 it's for really it. It's really well made. And then, of course, I paid for the actual, I had to pay by weight, which it's it's a good three, four pounds. So You paid about $22 for that thing. I know. But definitely worth it. I can't imagine I would get less than $100 for this. It might take a little while to sell. It's so heavy. Um, it needs to some sweater shaving going on, a little tender, loving care. Uh, but this is amazing. I don't think it needs the sweater shaving too much. Well, I'll, I'll do it just a little bit. It's, just, really, it's very nicely done. Yeah, just it'll just clean it up a little bit. Uh, but it looks like somebody's grandma made it. It actually looks like a Mary Maxim type of pattern. It's just very, very cool and uh, definitely well worth the $22 that basically I spent on it. Um, all right. I'll save those for last. You want to show the paintings? Yeah. You? So um, I always kind of like, I'll glance over at the art and they were coming out with the cart and I was watching the cart go by and I saw right in the front um, something. I'm like, that looks like something Vicky might like. So I walked over and right as I was walking over, as the guy was putting it in place, another guy was walking and then he saw me and he kind of like, he backed up and let me go in there. Um, which I was glad because I got both this and the piece that was behind it. And Vicky really liked it. And they only charged me $2.99 for each one. Yeah. And so what we're going to do is we'll hang them in the house, but I'm probably going to list one of them and you'll see why in a minute. Um, there's certain artwork. I don't know. I, I would say that my aesthetic. It's, my aesthetic is eclectic. Okay. I've got a bit of a art deco Hollywood Regency thing going on in, in this main living room. And so I've been looking for prints you can see behind us. This is a true vintage, almost antique 1930s art deco um, print mm -hmm. that Katie bought me as a wedding gift. And um, I love it. So this is similar. This is truly 90s does 20s and 30s, right? So this is supposed to be a flapper era, but this was made in the 90s and that's clear. But this is an original watercolor and it goes with the kind of the look with the um, the colors and the gold frame. You can see it's got the... But what, what I think is really cool about this is it actually has all of the information on the back, even though this one isn't super valuable. Right, so it's made by Elaine De Niro. Uh, is is the artist. Uh, she's a local artist, but she does have some notoriety. This is a signed print. This is uh, number 11 out of 100. Certificate of uh, Authenticity. Don't you wish all art came like this? Right. It came <laughs> with all these things. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it's it, it's As it's sell, this one's probably only worth a couple hundred, which is probably close to what they paid for it when they purchased it in the 90s. But I like the aesthetic a lot. There's Pretty a little, good for two ninety nine. Little though. damage to the frame, and I'm going to just get some um, some gold leaf and just rub it on the and and, and restore the frame, and then I'm gonna hang it right behind us, right where nice. we are now. So I like that one a lot. It's super cute. It's not one I'm going to list because I like it. I'll keep it. Now this one I'll list. 
this one, I've got to look up the artist a little bit. So this is huge. This is heavy. This is sealed in lacquer. And this has yellowed over time. This probably started out as white. It is yellowed now, and that happens from sunlight. That's normal with lacquer, which is why most people don't do this anymore. It looks cool, though. It does look cool. But the artist on this one is Isaac Mimmel, M-A-I-M-O-N. You can see a little bit there. Other than the yellowing, there is no damage to this. The frame itself has a couple little scratches, but nothing ma massive. We'll hang this probably and, and lean it on top of the fireplace until it sells, but this could sell for a couple thousand dollars. I am willing to figure out how to ship this heavy thing for a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. It is professionally framed. It is all of that. Um, and I found it for and paid two ninety nine for it for Vicky. And so if she's, when we looked it up, we're like, okay, if either, if she sells it, either we'll just split the money or we'll spend it on something for both of us. Because uh, it was kind of Maybe a group it'll be another cruise. Yeah. Who knows? Yep. But um, for two ninety nine, I don't always pick up art, but I do pick up anything that I find interesting. And sometimes I'm going to pick it up for myself and it just happens to have yeah. value. So so really this might be the, the most valuable, probably is the most valuable thing that I was able to score this week. Mm -hmm. um, so you always want to be paying attention to stuff like that because um, you just never know. All right. So now we're going to get down to my last two items. These. Are you done? Sorry. I'm, I'm teasing. The These are total accidental scores. Um, this first one, our friends Deb and Mel, we're in a, a little group chat with them. And Mel's really funny. And whenever like uh, one of us is saying something that happened or something we did or something good that happened, she'll respond with noise. And it's just really goofy. Um, and I think it's really funny because I love using like outdated slang like that too. You know, like true dat or uh, just whatever. To be just to be silly or dumb. So when I saw this, I was just like, oh, that's hilarious. I'm totally going to get that for Mel. She wears light colors. And now, to be fair, when I picked it up, I was like, this is really well made. It's a it's really high quality. But I was thrown off by the fact that it says freaking noise on it. I mean, come Which on. Which is copywritten, mind you. Yeah, it, it's like, yeah, it's really well done. I didn't even look at that. And this, oh, on the back it says, have a noise day. I mean, ridiculous right and it's got this really nice tag so it feels like a really nice well-made item but i was just thinking i'm gonna buy this sweatshirt for mel we're gonna see her next month i'm gonna give it to her it's gonna be a funny gift she wears light neutral colors like this so it's exactly something she would wear it's hilarious so i'm showing it to vicky at home and she's like maybe you should look that up first because you i could tell it was nicely made too yeah but again thrown off by the noise because it's just stupid. It's like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of another word that you could put on a shirt that would just be like, it's just dumb. And uh, so I looked it up and much to my absolute shock, this is like a $150 sweatshirt. Um, it's actually, it's, somehow it's connected it to- It sells for several hundred originally, but you could still get 150 for it. No, I think it sells for like, I don't whatever. The only comps I can find are around like 150 to 180. Um, and it's connected to BTS, the Korean boy band. I don't know if it's like they're connected with the, the manufacturing and selling it. No, it's or if it's the just... guys in the band says that. That's why it's copywritten. It's his, it's a phrase so that it's... he says. Okay, well, like, I would know that. Anyway, I haven't gone too deep into it. I just know it's connected to BTS, the boy band. The only ones that are available for sale right now are out of uh, South Korea. Um, and the only comps, like I said, I think the cheapest one is sold for is 140 um, And it's ridiculous. And so I said to Mel, I'm sorry. I had to tell her. I'm like, I got this for you. And then I looked it up and I don't love you quite that much. I, my friendship has its limits <laughs> is what she said, actually. So I'm telling you guys, like, nowadays it's so easy to look stuff up, especially with Google uh, Lens. Mm -hmm. I mean, it used to be when you started, you had to, like, be at home or somewhere where you could hook up your laptop or not your desktop. Even, not even that. We couldn't even look at it. There was no, no, there was no way to look up comps. Okay, that's not true. Okay, there, I'm talking about researching stuff. You have told the story yourself that when yeah. you would go, you would go. Tell them how what you would do. It was before would... Google. Okay, I get that. <laughs> Stand it. We are doing a video here, so don't shut me down. What was your process when you would go to the auction house? I would go write everything down, and then I would go to where they had free Wi-Fi at the McDonald's down the street. And this was just 15 years ago. Never, yeah. mind, never mind in the beginning, 25 years ago. Right. I couldn't even do that then. I would go to the library and research in books um, 25 years ago. But 15 years ago, I would go, and yes, Google was, was rudimentary 15, 20 years ago because the, you couldn't comp. They didn't show sold on yeah. different websites. They didn't have, like... 
Terra Peak. Well, Terra Peak was just starting around then. So, uh, but it didn't retain photos. It was a whole thing. You had to like research was a process. Like, right. A it took long, time. It took time. time. And then when I started in 2016, like, yeah, you could look stuff up and you could look up solds on eBay, but you would have to like, you're, you're searching keywords, right? So it would take a little time. And so when you first start as a new seller, it would take you forever because you'd be going through the thrift store and trying to look everything up. Well, nowadays with Google Lens, it's like it takes you two seconds. It's on the, my home screen on my phone. It takes me two seconds to look something up. So if I have, you know, definitely don't list anything without at the very least, just look it up. You never know. 150 bucks, guys. So I was like going crazy over that. I'm like telling everybody. I'm calling up everybody. I'm like, you're never going to believe what I found at the You're biz. calling people. Yeah, I'm calling people up. I'm like sending telegrams. You know, I got to let the people know. Then yesterday I'm listing, now I didn't show this last week because I didn't think it was anything special. Um, I had picked this up. First of all, look at this. This is a Jimi Hendrix. Uh, I knew it wasn't vintage. Um, there's lots of Jimi Hendrix stuff out there, but it's pretty much always t-shirts. So when I saw this sweatshirt, I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I've changed like the stuff I'm dying. I'm not exclusively vintage. I'm like, I can sell this for 30, 40 bucks. It's cool, whatever. Didn't think anything of it, right? Um, and I like that it's like distressed. You can see like the tag is blank. It's all worn out. It's supposed to um, be vintage. I'm, yeah. Well, I didn't even, at the time that I got it, I was just like, it could just also just be worn out. Um, and so when I was taking pictures, I was making sure I was getting all the flaws, blah, blah, blah. And then I do a quick Google lens, just as I'm about to um, upload or just as I'm about to list it, do the quick Google lens. And lo and behold, it's a freaking, it sold for like three to $500 brand new. And I'm like, what? and it was made this way. And I, guys, I don't even know what to say. I thought this was the only tag from looking it up. I went back and I looked underneath. Yep, another tag right here. This is called Made Worn. So Made Worn does these made to look vintage retro sweatshirts. And if you go look at the solds, it's insane. Like 200, 300, the, the, the new stuff comes out. It's three to $500. I'm like, at that point, why aren't you just buying true vintage you're, you're already paying hundreds know. of dollars. I don't know. They're paying hundreds of dollars for Maybe they retro don't want, reprints. They don't want used clothing. I don't know. It's the weirdest thing in the world to me, guys. Uh, I found a comp, one that sold for $150 on Etsy. Um, I've already listed it for $200, so we're going to see. But is that not, I mean, it's got a, I don't even, I have no words because it's just the you stupidest thing. You have a lot of thing. words. You shut your effing mouth. <laughs> See how mean she is to me? You guys always say I'm the mean one. You started She's it. She's go mean. get me my uh, go get me my accordion. No, you almost she almost, <laughs> she almost she almost did it. You guys, I'm gonna go get it and hide it. Is what I'm gonna do. Anyway, I just can't believe I found another item accidentally that also uh, that not only uh, is also a surprise get, but is even more than the noise sweatshirt. And I sent a picture of it to um, Jesse and told him. And he's like, I threw that back. So he was very, he was very upset. Not really, but he thought it was pretty funny. So that's right. it. come on, just go get it for me. No. Come on, just, just go. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to do it with my mouth. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.